I'm Emma. Welcome to my sewing channel. This is So Do Emma. So, if you're new here, welcome. This is where I talk all about my sewing journey along with fabrics and patterns, which are mainly size inclusive, um, as I am a fat source, plus size source, curvy source, whatever it may be. Um, I fall under all those branches. So, yes, um, along with dressmaking, I try and sew my way in this world. So, if you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're in with all the notifications. Promise, I don't spam you like that often maybe once a day maybe twice a week depends how how feeling i'm sharing in the moment you know but i will update when there's a new video coming out or if there's been a little bit of a change of schedule so yeah it would be lovely to have you join the gang and Keep in with the crew, you know. Right, so better get on with this video, eh? So I am wearing the Adrian blouse, and this is made out of a beautiful cotton jersey, which I picked up from Edinburgh Fabrics. I think they might still have some left. However, I have seen not one, not this colour. But I've seen this colourway and two other colourways at Pound Fabrics UK. So I'll pop the link in below and you can go and have a wee look. Um, they did have some stock of the colours. I think this one had sold out or the other one had sold out or there was low stock on the other one. But anyway, really good price there. So, yeah. Right. And... I am wearing, I'm going to have to stand up, my opal pants that I just finished. Remember that um, WIP basket video and I showed them? I'll put them there. If you haven't seen that video, you can go and have a wee look. Um, I finally made them up. Didn't take long, just a good afternoon. Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed that they still fit and they're really comfy, really soft. Can't remember where I got this linen from, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I don't know what I'm getting. Random thread. What a surprise I'm in my sewing room. So, yes, yeah, so if you haven't already, grab yourself some juice or tea, coffee. wine pause this video and go and get it um yeah and those uh, magnolia opal pants are in linen which really goes quite nicely with this video um for those that don't know do, do, do. I think I must have a secret obsession with linen because I have got quite a bit. I'll explain what linen is. According to Google, linen is a fibre. Really? Linen is a textile made from the fibres of a flax plant. Linen is very strong, absorbent and dries faster than cotton. Because of its properties, linen is comfortable to wear in hot weather and is valued for use in garment. It all ha also has other distinctive characteristics. Notability its tendency to wrinkle. <laughs> so yeah, so you can make it into tablecloths, napkins as well. Uh, we we nice bread baskets there's so much function for linen and it's really it's one of the 
best fibres for the planet, I think. So, yeah, it's really natural. So, I'm going to rattle through a, quite a lot of my stash here. I think I've pulled out the main ones. I think. I was lucky enough to be really, really lucky and win a pile of, I think I'm going to get this Nico Nico fabric and this is the linen one. Oh my god, it's so soft. Um, I've got a couple of colours in my D stash because I don't know if I'm going to use them. Although I might just pull them back from the D stash because... I could put them at the bottom, maybe make a rainbow, that would look so cool. But I'm thinking of, I think I've got a metre of each thing. It will probably be one ten wide, which is quite narrow. But I'm thinking of the Homer and Howard's Ingrid. Now, I have mentioned this on a previous vlog sometime age to go but um yeah this is still a plant in motion i might even get it done this month i'm feeling quite go 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 and i really want to do it and i think if this would be pretty awesome um idea um i was thinking of view a Probably between a 20 and a 24, 20 being bust. Yeah, 20 being bust because it goes from a 31 and 1 8 inches to a 48 and 7 8 inches for the bust. A waist of 25 and 1 quarter to 42 and 7 eighths and a high hip or the hem um, is a 34 and 1 quarter to a 52 inch body measurements. Now the bust for a size 20 it's from a 44 7 eighths for the body measurements and finish measurements for the side 20 is a 48 so that's quite a good still plenty of ease in that garment it gives, still gives me like two inches for ease so that's fine then the waist would be fine the hem meh, i could come out at the waist for maybe the 24 and get that really flamboyant skirt for the 24 at 93. Yeah, might just do that. Um, fabric requirement for C. Fabric requirement for view A, sorry. Uh, would be about 4 metres. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, 3.8 metres, which I've got here. Um, so yeah, I might just try and do that. So I'm going to put that to the side and uh, we'll show me that together because that would be amazing. Next up, I believe I got this from Sewers Fashion many years ago and it's this gorgeous, I think it's a linen canvas and I got this in mind for a bag. And I've got some scraps from my grey strip, my Megan Neal, not Megan, Marshall style grey strip, <laughs> the pink one. So I think I'll put this and this together, a make bag, or I'm going to make a sun hat. I think that would be really nice, uh, maybe a reversible, um, and then... Anything that gets left over, I might make a nice little bag to go with it. Oh, we've got a Blackbird's linen, and this is called Pale Wisteria. It is a gorgeous sort of 
dusky lilac lavender um, and uh, it's 150 wide or 59 inches wide 100 percent linen and you can always tell it's 100 percent linen because it just wrinkles um i got that tip from pins and needles when she just did her um vlog about linen and uh, this is where my inspiration came from i was like I've got loads of linen. I could talk about my favourite patterns that would work really well with linen. So there you go. Um, I've got 1.5 metres of this. So I could either get a short skirt or maybe shorts or maybe a top. I'm not quite sure. But I do love this colour. As you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Lilac. Okay, we have a cotton and linen mix. This is a beauty. I spotted this at my one of my local shops. It was on sale. Um, it was the uh, dress fabric company Edinburgh. Uh, Gwen, the owner and. Is she just runs the shop. It's a small shop, but she has really quality, quality, quality uh, fabrics. Saw this and I was like, oh my goodness. This is going to be for the Nita trousers from um, oh, Amy Studio. Amy, Amy Nicole Studio. And yeah, I've got a wee button. I better have not lost that because that cost £1.5 to go with it. I might actually go back and see if she's got the bigger buttons. That might work better for the trousers. But um, yeah, uh, it's like a leopard print. And I talked about this material in one of my fabric tours. I'll link that to that because that's going into Gwen's shop. Gwen is lovely so if you're ever in Edinburgh, the Brunsfield area, pop in and say hi for me. She's absolutely gorgeous. It's bang on opposite the Brunsfield links um, which is a green patch in the next to the meadows um, in Edinburgh. So yes, it is lovely. I love this colour. And I think it will make an absolutely cracking pair of neater trousers. I've got the right amount for the fabric. So, yeah, it's kind of destined. But I'm not going to make any trousers without doing a toile. Just to be sure. So, yeah. I've got, I think, a linen here. I, might, I think it might be a canvas linen. So maybe even a blend. I can't remember offhand, but this was from, maybe it's a cotton. Um, this was from the D stash of Hazel Georgie. Um, she runs a lovely fabric shop um, online, but she's based in Edinburgh. Um, and yeah, Monsterias, love them. Absolutely love them. When I saw this um, on a D stash, um, she had it for a, quite some time, and it just people weren't just getting it. But I think I'm gonna make either a Hannah dress by so I'll pop in the details there. I think I will do that or. I'll be doing a button up by the peppermint magazine button up dress or a heather jacket. I'm still out. Might make a skirt actually. I hear linen skirts on the bi bias are really good. Let me know. Would look like a nice and an Evelyn skirt as well by Chalk and Notch. Okay, next up. I'm going through them very, very quickly because I have got a stash going. Boohoo! Next, we have got another um, 
Blackbird's linen, and this is a 7 ounce linen. Lighter, that's a 6 ounce signature linen. And this is a 7 ounce linen. So definitely feel the difference. I got two and a half meters. I think I'm gonna make a pony jacket. Otherwise, I'm gonna try the moss, the new moss jacket from Helen's closet. Yeah. Or I was thinking of doing a real copycat and recreating the peppermint magazine. LB Textiles Wide Strap Maxi Dress. So there we go. It's a lovely colour. Absolutely love this colour. Still with Blackbird Fabrics and it's another 7 ounce linen. I've got 3 metres. This will probably either be brilliant for trousers, could be perfect for the free range slacks or a pair of picture trousers um which i've not tried but i really want to try or dungarees there's enough to make a pair of dungarees as well so it probably might be dungarees or overalls the new helen's closet ruby overalls are really calling me so it might be for that one these are Two bits of remnants. I got this from So Me Sunshine. These are linen. Gorgeous pink pastel colours. I do tend to go in for these. Um, not quite sure about the weight. Can't remember. Probably will be able to look it up and then I can put it on the side. But these are gorgeously soft. Now, I can't remember how big they are. But I think I got enough possibly a nice little summer dress um, and I can't even remember what I was thinking of at this time so that really helps not these are a garment they're in linen but I'm going to have to sort out the crotch on the trousers the far the rise is too low meaning i've got loads of excess around the crotch so i'm gonna take some away no idea how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna give it a bash anyway um i got this linen out of a d stash really nice soft linen and it's a shame for those trousers not to be worn so i'm gonna try and sort these out next up is this beautiful linen mix um i believe it's a linen cotton um and it's got this broadery on gloss embroidered texture and hold inside really hard to come up with a camera but this is really nice i got this from so yarn crafty we have lovely fabrics and when i saw this i was like instantly top but at the moment i'm in between what i really want to do with it and um yeah so it's lovely i think i got one and a half and it's one three five wide so I definitely be able to get a top out of it, no problem. This one is a beautiful linen. Um, I've got two point five, and I bought it from a distachery. It's a UK. Um, I'll pop it in the screen on here. Um, just in case I've got it wrong. Heaven forbid. But it's the UK version of. Distachery, distachery, thigh. But, um, yeah, um, Ruan highlighted it to me in um, the DMs on Instagram. We like having a back and forth conversation. Sometimes we get um, similar fabrics or we see something and we go, oh, that is so you, that is so you. <laughs> we entice each other. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm sure she does that to other stores, as do I, as do I, hands up. But yeah, um, 
I love Rouen. This is a really soft linen. Um, it might be a linen mix, actually. Um, but, yeah, I can see something happening with this. I've got 2.5 at 140 wide. Not quite sure, but hey-ho. Coming up with this, this is from Lamazi Fabrics. I've had this in my stash for ages. I think I've got two and a half, maybe three metres of this. It's a Robert Kaufman Essex, Essex linen. And it's this beautiful lavender colour. Um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I keep going back and forth of what I want to do. <laughs> You've probably seen this fabric multiple times. And I'm still not like 100% what I want to do with it. But I am in love. I'm getting a pile to a pile here. And uh, Betsy is showing her cleavage on a little chest. Who? <laughs> So yes, we have got something really different here. I've got one and a half of this. This is almost 150 wide. It is a linen and cotton mix. So you've got 95% linen, 5% cotton. It is so soft. This is why I like a little bit of cotton in my linen because it's just soft. <laughs> Soft. I prefer linen and cotton mixes to linen and to linen and viscose mixes. I think sometimes linen and viscose mixes is a wee bit scratchy, and it's a bit too late until I realise. But yeah, linen and cotton mixes are lovely. I think this might be a top. Otherwise, if I'm going to do a scut, I'll probably try and line it. This one you've seen multiple times. I know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make a by hand London Hannah wrap dress. Um, yeah, this is 100% linen. It's the Suze, I think it's a Susie linen. If I'm right, oh. Mm -hmm. It's the Susie Linen from Merchant Miller's 100% linen. It is absolutely gorgeous. This reminds me of the seaside gelatos and all things nice for summer. And it needs to be made up. I know, I know, I know. What I could do is rattle off the Hannah dress, try and twirl the top just to make sure, and he pressed it. I'm sure it'd be fine. But I don't want to waste the material because I've got exact amount of that pattern. Yes, it's been destined for the Hannah for ages. Along with that one, you've seen this one plenty of times. It is the dark navy with poppies. This is destined for a Zadie, I think. I'm just a bit worried about placement of those big poppies. But this is a linen mix, um, I think, I believe it's a linen cotton mix. I got this, I think, in the first part of the pandemic. Um, from So Me Sunshine. Ugh, I love it. Another linen, I think this might be 100% linen. It's quite soft. It's glorious. I think I've got three metres of this. I am thinking the Burnside bibs um, of this one or some sort of other overalls. I like my overalls. They're really comfy. I've got two pairs so far, but I really want to do loads more because you can kind of really, really lay it up. You can put a t-shirt on then overalls on and then put like a jacket or overshirt on it and then put a coat on top you know you know what i'm saying um yeah total black so overall patterns that i'm thinking of oh betsy's knackered overalls are overalls 
I'm thinking of our The Bonsai Babs Ruby Overalls by Helen's Closet, Yanta Overalls by Helen's Closet. Um, maybe the Hazy Dungarees, I might prefer them in Cotton Twill. Um, yeah, there's there's loads of the Oph Ophelia overalls, and that's decades of style. I've got that pattern, not tried it yet, but that was one of the ones that I pulled out when I was starting to really look at sizing rather than grade up. Um, so that I might just still fit in that sizing. That was one of the biggest size inclusive ones for um at the time when I was looking into overalls. Um yeah, so quite like to do that. A uh, viscose linen milk oil, so this is seventy percent viscose, thirty percent linen, and it's got a lovely sort of drape to it. I have got one and a half meters. It is one thirty wide. It's quite narrow, so I would probably definitely either maybe try and do a bias skirt with this. That might work. Or a top, sort of even a, even a cover up that would be quite nice, kind of a waterfall effect. I'll have to look at patterns if you know of anything that suits a woven and a waterfall thing. I've only got one and a half meters, so have to be, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a black linen here, a hundred percent. Not quite sure where I got this from, from but yeah, it's a, it's a good black linen. Um, yeah, this is probably for Yanta overalls, or if I'm feeling like I need to wear black trousers, I could make maybe a few range slacks or another paper, pair of opals. Um, Petra's by Closet Core. <sighs> Maybe the Chandler's with the elasticated back. Another good one. Um, I'm believing that I've got a hundred one fifty meters of this. This will probably not be as wide as the standard it will probably be either one thirty or even one ten centimeters wide. Um, it's a Robert Kaufman, I believe, or Mer no Merchant Mills, um, and it's about one centimeter grid. So I think I was thinking either a top, but I might actually wear it as shorts or something for the summer these would look quite cool um might even try the opal shirts everything everything's fallen down but yeah opal shirts maybe we've got palm leaves i love my palm leaves i don't get palm leaves that often these days because i know i've got loads um but this was from fabric godmother i believe this is a linen mix linen cotton mix um but it's absolutely incredible it's so soft i think i've got 150 of this maybe on two meters so brilliant for a skirt or top or maybe throw on um yeah don't know but there's lots of colors to play with and i picked it really sort of the navy background slightly different but it really pops out the leaves. Love it. Last but not least. <laughs> I've got to put all these away back now. I've got this in a linen. It could be a linen viscose. Definitely some linen content in there. But I'm thinking. I've thought about this long and hard. I think I've got this for the S3 skirt. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this. I got it from another 
local fabric shop in Edinburgh Fabric Focus. I've had this in my stash for ages with the S3 in mind. S3 skirt from So Liberated. Um, I'm going to put brown, brown buttons down the front. Really sort of nautical. I keep meaning to do it in summer and I keep forgetting and then summer passes and there we go. Um, so that is my linen stuff. So there's quite a lot of patterns that I've mentioned throughout um, the video. So I hope that it gives you some inspo. If you've got any questions, just let me know. And uh, have a good day. Thank you and give me a little thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. As always, happy sewing and oh, bobbins. Take care. Bye. Thank you.